Hi guys. Sorry about the messy coffee table. Um, so a few weeks ago, maybe like six weeks ago, I posted on the Midori group on Facebook about something I'd found in John Lewis, which is this really beautiful, high quality department store here in the UK. Um, that I'd found this beautiful travel wallet by a company called Smith and Canova and I so I found it in the kind of high quality leather travel accessories section um, well it's not necessarily travel accessories but it was kind of with all the men's gifts the high quality things so there were things like um, whiskey flasks a really beautiful little shoe polishing kit um, men's leather glasses cases and stuff so it's kind of in the men's gift section and I found this and I thought that looks like a Midori because from the outside it looks like a Midori it is exactly the same size let me get my one out to show you and the same width and everything so this is my Midori so if you compare the height is exactly the same and the width it is only a little bit wider so it is practically, I mean it's even got the same sort of colour leather. So my eye was instantly drawn to it and then I looked inside, I opened it up and I saw this. Isn't that the most beautiful thing you have ever seen in your life? And I was just enthralled by it, I mean it is absolutely gorgeous. If we had touch of vision, if you could reach in through the screen and touch this thing, you would go, because oh, it is so smooth. The leather is gorgeous. It's so high quality. And it is just perfect workmanship. It is absolutely beautiful. And I saw it in John Lewis and I didn't buy it because I had to talk myself out of buying it I would have quite happily bought it but I'd already spent quite a lot of money that day so I decided not to buy it but I did look online later and although they are available on the John Lewis website I couldn't find it on any other websites because Smith & Canova I think they have different versions and I was looking for this particular version I couldn't find it on any other websites but I did find it on eBay now I didn't want to pay full price for it because I'm cheap but I did find it on eBay in America and it was on like a, an estate sale so I don't know if someone had died or something but I found it on there for a lot cheaper than it was selling for so with shipping it was £15 less than it was selling for on the John Lewis website and in the John Lewis shop which is brilliant now um, if you saw my Facebook post, you will know how much this cost, but if you didn't, if you've never seen this before like in John Lewis or on the website, I think you will be very surprised by the price. Now this is a Midori Traveller's Notebook, and if you know what they are like, you will know how much they cost and what you get for the money. You get this piece of leather with the tin clasp, the double elastic going through the middle and the elastic on the side you don't get this I've added that you get that for 40 pounds okay now I thought that wasn't too bad because I'm used to quite high prices for filofaxes I've come from the filofax world so I'm used to higher prices and 40 pounds is the price of um, a bigger non leather one like an um, um, a5 non leather one or maybe a smaller leather one like a mini or a pocket for £40. The Traveller's Notebook, the Midori Traveller's Notebook, from the shops that I've seen them in on the UK they've been £40. On other websites they're cheaper. So I think for £40 in comparison to the price of a Filofax I think that's quite a good deal. This was £40. So in comparison to the Midori Traveller's Notebook which is effectively a rectangle of leather with some elastics, this 
is the same price. All of this beautiful workmanship, beautiful craftsmanship, I mean all of these pockets and these the little details and things, for the same price as a traveller's notebook. And they are still available on the um, Midori, um, sorry, on the John Lewis website if you do want to get one. And I think it's absolutely beautiful. Just quickly show you the inside. So this is brand new, even though it's got a couple of scratches on it, that is through, you know, just, I don't know, somebody handling it or something. There is like a square here where I think it had a label on it. I think it was a price label. Um, that I think it came from a thrift shop and then it was sold through an estate sale eBay um, seller. Um, but it is brand new because you can still see the plastic protector on the zip. So it has the most beautiful pockets it has credit card pockets up here so there's one two three four five credit card pockets it has one zip pocket here with a gusset so you can fit quite a lot of coins in there or whatever you want to fit and it's got this little protector to stop the zip from making a dent on the other side it's got another zip pocket here, which is also gusseted with the protector to stop zip from making a dent. It's got the Smith & Canova logo and it's got a full length pocket here. It's got the zip pocket here and it's got a full length pocket here. It's got this loop here, which is a pen loop it's got another full length pocket here and another one here and it's got this deep pocket here which goes all the way to the bottom and it's got another pocket there and it's got a photo pocket here a photo ID pocket or a photo window thing and then the way that it gets um, closed the way that it stays closed is with this press stud here and it is absolutely beautiful. I mean, the stitching is gorgeous. The leather quality is gorgeous. The the way the zip, you know, the zips are put in, the little extra touches to make it that higher quality. The workmanship is just absolutely beautiful. And I mean, for what it is, for a travel wallet, I mean, if if you have somebody who travels a lot or who loves accessories, to get them this for their birthday or Christmas would be amazing. Um, I mean you can, it's supposed to be for travel documents so obviously like airport tickets or boarding passes or something would fit in there and then you can put your passport in there and it would be tucked away safely but obviously as a traveller's notebook user I have to look at it from a traveller's notebook perspective so I will, let me grab, aha, here is my um my former journal this is a grid insert a Midori grid insert will it fit as I showed you earlier it is slightly wider than the Midori traveler's notebook and the same length so will this fit inside and I tried this in the shop and it won't it is oh now it will I think this one's been slightly used better um, been sort of suppled up but the one in the shop wouldn't fit in but all I was going to do was then just trim a millimetre off the top and bottom but actually this one does fit so look perfect even though it's got this um, pen loop in the middle this leather is so supple that it can just fold away you can put one of these in the front and one in the back so um, let me grab my homemade insert here This um, card is a bit more flimsy. Here we go. So obviously there's no elastics in this, like in a traditional Midori Traveller's notebook. But because of these pockets, you don't need them. So, da-da! It's not only a travel wallet, it is a travel notebook. It's a travel journal. Isn't that perfect? 
isn't it gorgeous now the only problem about this is that obviously now the cover is under the pocket you don't have a cover on this side but you can easily stick a piece of card over here but also these um, zips and pockets might make dents or if you're writing they would um, kind of damage the paper if, if you don't have many pages I mean you've got bumps there but if you've got the card or something hard there that wouldn't be bad isn't that gorgeous isn't that perfect I tell you what if I did more traveling I would definitely use it when my mum saw it she really liked it and she asked if she could have it so I'm going to give it to her with a notebook inside or maybe two notebooks I'm so glad these actually fit because it means that I don't have to um, trim the um, covers down but isn't that gorgeous so beautiful absolutely wonderful I'm just annoyed that I haven't got a use for it but um, yeah if you do want one they are available on the John Lewis website Smith and Canova C-O-N-O-V-A so um, there you go thank you very much for watching and um, the next video I've got to make is the um, stick on pockets for um, strengthening your leather so um, tune in for that one thank you for watching bye